I am the program manager at Bib and Tucker Sew Up, located in Birmingham, Alabama. We are a sewing a nonprofit organization, and we use sewing as a means of promoting education, economic opportunity, and empowerment. I also am someone who is very interested, very invested, and who has researched and studied quilting in America, specifically quilts created uh, within the African American community, so quilting traditions that are traced back to having their roots in African American uh, art making traditions and African art making traditions. Also quilting movements and cooperatives that are correlated to social justice movements. My area of study came to be when I was in grad school at Bowling Green State University in Ohio and decided to study quilting. It just kind of happened. I think I was just homesick from, because I'm from Alabama and quilting is a big part of our art making tradition in our history here. And I actually was able to learn about a quilter who was located not too far from where I was living at the time, um, LaShonda Crow Storm, who has created and led the Lynch Quilts Project and I wrote my thesis on her and on uh, the first quote of that project, which is titled, Her Name Was Laura Nelson. My interest in my specific advocacy and activism within the arts is within social justice movements, particularly social justice movements that originate or that are powered through Black youth, specifically the Black Lives Matter movement and looking at the ways in which art has helped to kind of allow the movement to be seen through a different lens, but then how art is also very much entwined with the movement in ways that may be obvious and not quite so obvious. For instance, for artists who may be creating works of art specifically addressing the movement, specifically capturing these moments, whether it's photography, painting, um, drawing, illustration, writing, um, performing arts, but then also looking at the art of fashion. What is being worn at these movements? What are being worn at the protests? What are the signs that we are creating? What are the, the social media posts? What are the memes? What are the illustrations, specifically the ones in memorial of the victims of racial violence and racial terror? And for me, that is kind of where my interest lies in looking at these movements that are very much organic and grassroots led from artists who may be using social media as their means of communicating with the world what is happening in their own communities. I think right now is such an important time to really be paying attention, not only to what is happening within our own communities, but what is happening globally. And I think it's a really important time to kind of pay attention to what's happening within the art world globally, as well as what's happening locally. One thing that I'm always emphasizing, you know, how much incredible art is being made and created all around us all the time. There are so many phenomenal artists right in our backyard and they don't always have the resources to have their work seen by the audiences other artists may have or they may not always have the same exposure or recognition but their work is no less valuable and so for me i get really excited when i find out about artists and galleries and shows and things that are happening that are very community driven and community led especially when artists are really involved in what's um, going on in their communities and they are using their art as a way to kind of bring awareness to issues those are the types of movements and the um, artists that i tend to follow if anyone is interested in wanting to find out where art is happening in their communities or find out what is going on locally. Social media is a great resource for that. Um, hashtags often will bring you results. Um, just hashtagging something as simple as Black Lives Matter and the images that come up and the illustrations and the photographs and the, the things that people are saying even within their posts. I think a lot of people really are using social media as a way to express themselves with the written word.